I am Jack Lahab. This is my show, The Great Americans. One thing is the, that the show is called The Great Americans, but really it should be The Great Americans with a question mark. Like it's not supposed to be a polemic statement of these are who we see as great Americans. It's a little bit more like questioning and inviting conversation as are these people great? Who are they? What do we know about their histories? And I'm trying to walk a line of saying that these are people who, I am the chooser, but they're also people who we as a culture have decided are the great Americans. I think just like our idea of America itself and our, our collective American identity is ever growing and ever changing by the people that we include in our culture, so is the series gonna be growing and changing. The internet plays a large role um, within my work. Often through, through image, I'll start with, uh, with just Googling the figure. In terms of the historical research, I read biographies and I, I look into the people, but also then I, I use Wikipedia and I enjoy using this aspect of Google and that, you know, the first search term in Google, it must be true. So I like these, uh, these like non sequiturs that the internet can lead us on. All of the images in this particular series are all the same size. And I like that standardization of form. I chose the size because it's grand. Um, it's not too big, so they're still in human scale. They seem like they could walk right out of the painting, but they're still grand. They're larger, slightly larger than life. Costuming is very important to the series. First of all, it's referencing classic portraiture costuming. So in portraiture, the artist will often dress up their subjects and have them in costuming in order to represent different things. Background and foreground is a, a huge concept, especially with, with these images, I see them as icons, like they're great American icons in the big sense, but they're also paintings as icons in the terms of like the old Russian icon, religious icons that um, George Washington becomes a religious icon here. It's him centered on this stark white background. So foreground, background, I'm always struggling with that and wanting to highlight just the figure and have the figure become the whole content, uh, but then also add aspects into the background that, that inform the figure. All these ideas of you know, fact versus fiction within the series can, can really create more conversation. And I think that's one of my hopes is that uh, people that come in and see the work will think and in thinking, they'll also discuss and have more conversations. And through that, we will be able to grow both as individuals and the culture.